My name is Anis Momin. I am from Avaya Services. I am going to show a demo on how to install third party certificates on Avaya System Manager and Avaya Session Manager. During the demo, we will be seeing how to generate certificate signing request for Avaya System Manager, generating certificate signing request for Avaya Session Manager, generating certificate signing request for Geo System Manager installing third party root CA in Avaya System Manager, Avaya Session Manager and Geo System Manager, installing third party identity certificate in Avaya System Manager, Avaya Session Manager and Avaya Geo System Manager. So first we'll be seeing how to generate certificate signing request for Avaya System Manager. Log into the System Manager web page, go to Inventory, Manage Elements, Select System Manager, click on More Actions, Manage Identity Certificates, select the service which is Management Container TLS Service, click on Replace and select the third option which is Generate Certificate Signing Request for Third Party Certificate. Now in the common name, make sure it is the FQDN of the System Manager, key algorithm will be RSA key size 2048 and the subject alternative name should be the VFQDN and FQDN of system manager. Then click on generate CSR and you'll get a file downloaded which is a CSR file onto your system. Next we'll be seeing generating certificate signing request for Avaya session manager using the system manager web page. To generate the CSR for session manager the steps will be same as we did for system manager Go to Inventory, Manage Elements, select the Session Manager, More Actions, Manage Identity Certificates. Now we want to change the certificate for Security Modules SIP, Security Modules HTTPS and Management. So we'll create CSR for Security Modules SIP and Management as the Security Modules SIP and Security Module HTTPS will use the same certificate. So first I'm going to create a CSR for Security Modules SIP. Now when we click on generate certificate signing request for third party certificate, the common name in the security module SIP service will have hyphen SM100 in the FQDN. So if you want, you can change that FQDN or you can keep the same FQDN. Then key algorithm as RSA, key size 2048. The subject alternative name will be the DNS name. That is the FQDN of session manager. And I'm going to add the IP address of the security module SIP or the SM100 IP address in the subject alternative name. And then click on generate CSR. Next, I will create the CSR for management service. Now here, if you check the FQDN in the common name is the session manager FQDN. Key algorithm will be RSA. 2048 subject alternative name will be the FKDN of the session manager and I will add the IP address of the management and click on generate CSR. So now we have two CSRs one is for the security module SIP service and the other is for the management service. Next we'll be seeing generating certificate signing request for Geo System Manager which is the same steps which we perform for Avaya System Manager and Avaya Session Manager. Before we create the CSR for Geo System Manager, make sure the replication is disabled between primary system manager and the secondary system manager by going to geographic redundancy and uh, the replication has been disabled. Once the replication has been disabled between the primary and secondary system manager, the CSR can be generated from the primary system manager web page. The certificate installation for the secondary system manager will also happen from the primary system manager web page. You don't need to log into the secondary system manager and install the certificates. Now select the secondary system manager which shows as secondary in the name. Go to Manage Identity Certificates. I am going to change the certificate for Management Container TLS Service. Replace. Generate Certificate Signing Request. 
Now the common name here will be the secondary system manager FKDN. Key algorithm will be RSA. Key size 2048. This will be the FKDN of the secondary system manager and VFKDN which has been set in the primary system manager. So the primary and the secondary system manager should have the same VFKDN. And then click on generate CSR. Next, we need to install the third party root CA in the Avaya system manager, session manager and the geo system manager. So to install the third party root CA, I am going to go to inventory, manage elements, select for system manager, more actions, manage trusted certificates, then click on add and choose the file which is your third party root CA. Once you select the file, retrieve certificate and you should see your third party root CA. Click on commit and it will install for all the trust tools which are there for the system manager. Click on done. Then go to then go to session manager trust tour, manage trusted certificates. Click on add, choose file. So here too it will be added for all the trust tools in the session manager. Click on done. Next I will select the secondary system manager trust store, manage trusted certificate. Click on add, choose file, retrieve certificate and then click on commit. Then it will be added in the trust store of the secondary system manager and then click on done. Next we will see how to install the third party identity certificate in our system manager, session manager and geo system manager. Once we receive the identity certificate from the third party, we need to create a certificate chain. So the certificate chain should be in the order as first the identity certificate, then the intermediate certificate and then the root certificate. We can run the below commands to check if the chain certificate is valid or not. If you have intermediate certificate and root certificate, the first command will be applicable which is open SSL verify hyphen verbos hyphen CA file then the intermediate and the root certificate and the chain certificate which has been created and the next command is to check if your root certificate and the identity certificate or the chain certificate is valid or not. So I have copied all the certificates which I have received from the third party into the system manager command line and we are going to create a chain of certificate with the system manager identity certificate and the root certificate same with the session manager certificate identity certificates and the root certificate so to create a chain we need to run the command cat smgr dot crt and i will move to smgr chain dot crt and then add the root certificate So we'll see our SMGR chain cert is created. So now if we do cat SMGR chain, we'll see two certificates added in this. So first is the identity certificate and then the root certificate. I'm going to verify now if our chain certificate is valid certificate or not. So for that I'll run the command open SSL verify hyphen verbose hyphen ca file my root certificate and my chain certificate which I have created it says ok same way I will create chain certificate for SM100 management and geo SMGR so if you see I have created the chain certificate for all the entities or the services like for the system manager for the SM100 for the management of session manager and then the geo SMGR. Now we will verify all these services or all these certificates chain if they are valid or not. So if you check all the identity certificates or the chain certificates which we created are verified and they are showing as status as OK. So the chain is required to be created when you are installing a third party certificate. If you just install the identity certificate into the system manager service, it will have issues later. So the document also says you need to have 
chain certificate between identity intermediate and the root CA. Now we have the chain certificate created for system manager, session manager and the geo redundant system manager. So first we are not going to change the identity certificate of the primary system manager. So first we need to change the identity certificate or install the certificate for geo system manager then the session manager and then the primary system manager because if you change the certificate on primary system manager all the entities or session manager or geo system manager will break the connection hence we need to first start with the lowest order that is first the geo system manager then the session manager and then the primary system manager so first i'll go to inventory manage elements i am going to select secondary system manager manage identity certificates and i'm going to select management container tls service and click on replace and i'll get an option as import third party certificate so you'll get an option as pkcs12 and pem so the pem format is showing here since we have created the csr from the system manager web page so since my certificate or the identity certificate created by the third party root ca is in pem format i'm going to select pem i'm going to select choose file then retrieve certificate so check the common name that is the fkdn of the secondary system manager and then issuer so make sure the issuer is your third party root ca and then the most important thing is the subject alternative name which should be the vfkdn of the primary system manager and the FKDN of the secondary system manager and I'm going to click on commit and click on done as soon as you change the management TLS certificate for the secondary system manager you need to restart the JBoss by running the command smgr stop and then smgr start So once the JBoss is started, the next we need to restart the system monitor service by running the command sudo system control restart system monitor. It will take around 15 to 20 minutes for the JBoss services to be up. So once the JBoss is up, you can verify the certificate for the secondary system manager. Next we will install the certificate for the session manager by go, uh, selecting the session manager going to more actions manage identity certificates so first I'm going to change the certificate for security module SIP click on replace and if I select import third party here as well I'm getting the PAM format since we created the CSR from the system manager so I'm going to select PAM choose file then retrieve certificate and just verify the subject details that is a common name and is asm1-sm100 and then the issuer is our third party root ca and the subject alternative name is the same common name and the ip address which we had provided during the csr generation and click on commit next i'm going to select the management and going to replace the certificate import third party here as well I'm getting PEM so I'm going to select the PEM file then retrieve certificate now this common name will be the FKDN of the session manager and third party root CA will be in the issuer name and the subject alternative name will be the FKDN of session manager and the IP address which I had provided during the generation of CSR and click on commit once the certificates are changed for the session manager I am going to restart the services by running the command restart all so that the certificates take effect. Once the session manager certificate is replaced then we can go and change the certificate for the primary system manager selecting the system manager manage identity certificates management container TLS service replace import third party here as well we are getting the certificate file format as PEM I'm going to select the file and then retrieve certificate and 
Now here make sure the common name is the FKDN of the primary system manager. Issuer name is the third party root certificate. Subject alternative name will be your VFKDN and the FKDN of the primary system manager and click on commit and click on done. So as soon as we change the certificate for the primary system manager, then we need to restart the JBoss by running SMGR stop. Then restarting the JBoss by running the command SMGR start. Once the JBoss service is up, then you can run the command sudo system control and restart the system monitor service. So it's going to take around 15 to 20 minutes for the JBoss service to be completely up and then you can log into the web page and check if all the certificates have been changed for system manager, session manager and the geo system manager. Once the JBoss service is up for the system manager, then log into the primary system manager and verify the certificates have been changed or not. So go to inventory, manage elements. So I'm going to check for the system manager more actions, manage identity certificates, management container. Check the common name is the FKDN of the primary system manager and issuer is the third party root CA and the subject alternative name is the VFKDN and the FKDN of the primary system manager. So that means the certificates have been cha changed successfully. So I'll click on done. Then check for the session manager more actions manage identity certificates so I'm going to check first for management so the subject detail shows the FKDN of the session manager issuer name shows the third party root CA and the subject alternative name shows the FKDN and the IP address which we have created for during the CSR and then for security module SIP we have the subject name that is a and is ASM1 hyphen SM100 and same way for the subject alternative name with the IP address and the FKDN hyphen SM100. For the CRL, make sure the CRL is reachable and if the CRL is not reachable, then change the setting of the CRL to none. Okay, here in the system manager web page in security configuration, you have the option certificate revocation validation where you can set it as none, best effort and mandatory. So if your CRL is reachable, then you can set it as best effort. But if the CRL is not reachable, then make sure you make it as none and then click on commit. Once the changes are done on the certificate revocation validation, the JBoss will restart and then your changes will take effect. Once the changes take effect, then you can go and enable the replication. Thank you. Thank you for your time today. We welcome your questions, comments and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or at avaya mentor on twitter for more details and other technical information please visit support.avaya.com thank you